Hey guys, Chad here for Kayak Bass Fishing. Today I'm answering another subscriber question. This one comes from Big Red Bass. Can you do a video on how to properly anchor and position your kayak in relation to your fishing target? All right, so welcome back and oh, obviously I'm drinking a little bit too much coffee because I'm a little shaky there. So actually this is a great question and I appreciate Big Red Bass for pointing it out. So this is one of the things that's probably the least talked about, okay? People talk about how to anchor your kayak and you know why you should anchor your kayak and the ways to anchor your kayak, but very few people actually address how you should anchor your kayak in position relative to your target. And I'm glad that he brought this question up. So there's a couple things to keep in mind. For one, it depends on the current. It depends on the sun angle, and it depends on what's going on in the body of water that you're fishing, whether it's a river, a lake, or you know whatever. If I'm fishing in current, nine times out of 10, I wanna focus and face into the current. I wanna angle my kayak to where I set up my anchor position where my boat doesn't swing unless I really want it to, and I'll talk about that in a second. But primarily, I'm gonna focus on sun angle. The one thing that people don't take into account, and we're gonna pretend like this is your kayak, right? And we're gonna pretend like this is the surface of your water, and here's the target where you're fishing. Now, if you're up here, and let's just call this 10 feet of water, and when the sun is up here over your shoulder, it hits that kayak, and it puts a shadow down on the bottom, especially in clearer water, even moderately clear water, it's gonna cast that shadow, and that shadow is gonna go all the way to the bottom. So if you anchor your kayak in a scenario where you're fishing in this direction towards a target, a brush pile, a you know, a treetop, uh, a rock pile, you know, anything along those lines, and the sun's behind you because you don't want the sun in your face and you're really thinking more about your comfort than you are your ability to catch fish, then what's gonna happen is your shadow is gonna be moving over the top of the target. When you rear back to cast, that movement is gonna cast a shadow across the target. And in a lot of cases, even the lure, before the lure gets there, the shadow is gonna hit the lure and it's gonna get there and it's gonna spook the fish longer, long before the lure actually arrives. Now you can use that to your advantage by fishing to where you wanna get your shadow to come across the target. But in this scenario where you're anchoring and you have the potential for your shadow to cross your target, that's one of the biggest mistakes that I think people make. I see this happen in rivers a lot. When you're going down a river and you really only have one way and uh, you know guys anchor off the stern, they got the sun at their back. Now your shadow's going down the river and you're moving your arms around, you're making a cast, your lure shadow gets there first and you spook fish. So it'd be much wiser to go around the target, go down the opposite side of the creek or the river, loop back around, pull up, drop your anchor fish into the current with the sun in your face so that you don't reveal yourself with the shadow. This exact same thing holds true if you're gonna be in a scenario where you're fishing in a kayak, where you're gonna be in shallow enough water where if you move your paddle or you move your, your pedals if you're a pedal kayak fisherman, or if just the very nature of where your boat is sitting creates current and eddies and vortices that kick up silt off the bottom. So if you do that and you create a cloud of mud going down through the spot where you intend on fishing, you're going to inhibit or limit your ability to catch fish. So when it comes to positioning your kayak, do me a favor and do the best you can to position yourself into the current, into the wind, and for the most part, into the sun. There's a few variables here and there that change that's gonna keep you from doing that. And we'll talk about those in other videos, but for the purpose of answering this question, I like to anchor into the sun, into the wind, into the current, and I don't like to anchor and put myself in a position where the very nature of where my kayak is set up that it's gonna create enough turbulence to silt the water up, especially if I'm fishing you know, down behind me or if I'm fishing where the current is carrying it. And again, in most cases, that's where uh, I'm gonna anchor the other way around. Now, I imagine one of the questions that he's asking is also about boat position when it comes to casting and presentations. What I tell people all the time is I like being ambidextrous. I like the fact that I can cast with either hand. I like the fact that I can cast either forearms or backhand with both casts. And that, that you know, uh, prevents me from being limited in the presentations that I can make. But what I would say is if you really have a strong hand and you really have a strong direction that you, you can cast, you wanna position your kayak to where you have the maximum casting efficiency. You don't wanna pull up and anchor your kayak and then you're trying to cast back here and you gotta make a lot of noise turning around or you're casting from awkward positions where you're not gonna be able to set the hook. So obviously for the most part, if you have a strong zone, right, that area where you're gonna cast or where you're gonna reel, that is gonna be where you're most accurate, where you're most able to make a good presentation, then you're gonna to wanna to position your kayak to where you're setting at a 45 degree angle to that target. 
Why do I say 45 degree angle? This is another thing that makes me glad that Big Red Bass brought this question up. I see anglers all the time anchoring directly at the target where they're fishing. And here's one of the things that happens. If you anchor directly at the target, okay, and you make a cast and you're making the presentation and you set the hook, you set the hook and you're pulling your kayak, taking the slack out of your anchor line towards you and the fish is coming to you, especially if you're making a moving presentation. Now, when you make moving presentations, you have to take that into account when it comes to setting an anchor. Now, the reason that I say that and the reason that I'm going to slightly contradict myself on something that I said in the past is I like to anchor into the current, into the wind, and into the sun. But if you're fishing a moving bait that is going to constantly pull you towards the anchor, then you're going to want to position yourself to where you can cast against the anchor and reel that particular lure where it doesn't drag your boat, which is probably one of the reasons you're anchoring in the first place. So anchor to where you can make the best possible presentation, where you can and when you can anchor into the wind, into the current, especially if the wind and the current are together, and into the sun so that you don't spook the fish uh, by not paying attention to your sun angle. But more importantly, when you set the hook on the fish, you don't want to be directly in line with the fish because when you set the hook and you converge on the fish and the fish converges on you and you get up and you get to where you can't keep up with the fish, you're going to lose a lot of fish. And I see fish videos all the time where I see the anglers set the hook and they're way back here and they're trying to catch up. The fish comes and jumps and shakes the hook and it makes these really great the one that got away videos. So keep in mind, try to anchor at a 45 degree angle. That way when you set the hook, the boat actually doesn't turn or go straight to it, but it kind of broadside adds some resistance. I actually like to make a presentation and then put a little hip away from it so that my boat digs in. That way when I set the hook, I've got the resistance of the boat to keep me from being pulled towards the target. One last thing, if I'm using a rudder or if I don't have a rudder and I wanna make a swing, what I'll do is I'll anchor my boat in current, put in a 45 degree angle, and then I'll stick my foot in the water, which will actually make my boat swing back and forth so I can fish a particular target. One such example is if I've got water coming out of a creek and I pull in behind the current line and I'm out of the wind and I anchor my boat just outside the mud line, every now and then I'll stick my toe in the water, change the angle of my toe that almost acts like a rudder pulls me around where I can cast further up in the creek. So for the most part, anchor into the wind, into the sun, into the current, don't set up directly in line with the target and do the best you can to think about the presentation you have to make and where you're gonna make it before you set your anchor. I hope that answers your question, Big Red, Big Red Bass. I appreciate you guys offering these amazing questions that allows us to interact here and answer the questions not only that you have, but the people out there who didn't know they even wanted to ask that question get a good dose of something that they can use out on the water. Guys, I'm Chad Hoover with Kayak Bass Fishing. I hope you like the content. Smash that thumbs up button if you like videos like this. Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me your thoughts on this video and ideas for future videos.